Hey guys, it's Bro you Whack, and yesterday was a humongous day for Overwatch. Not only did we get a brand new hero, but we also got a bunch of new buffs, a bunch of new changes for heroes. It's basically not, I wouldn't say a whole different game. Okay, that's an exaggeration, but it's a fun new experience because now we have soldiers running around, now we have Hammond, we have a bunch of Symmetras doing the most per usual, <laughs> but more importantly, we have the new hero. Now, even though we've only had Baptiste out for about a day or so, I guarantee you, you've already experienced this at least once, or you will experience this in the future, where someone is gonna make Baptiste look like the most OP hero. They're gonna be getting the most value out of Baptiste, they're gonna be tearing your team composition apart, you're not gonna know what to do, you're gonna start crying because you remember your ex broke up with you, your mom's gonna come in and be like, why are you crying so loud? We don't want that to happen, cause that's no fun for anyone. So, today, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and Hanzo mains, like we're gonna be looking at all the counters or most of the counters that you can use to stop Baptiste from being effective because that's one thing a lot of people forget whenever it comes to countering a hero is that it's not always necessarily to try to kill the hero obviously that's the end goal but sometimes it's just trying to make the hero less effective from them getting the most value out of them and in a sense countering them and stopping them and that's what I think is a counter or at least in my eyes so when looking at counter a guy like Baptiste player there are two things they need to realize that he is doing and that is the placement of him as Baptiste and also the placement of the immortality field that is what separates not only Baptiste from the rest of the hero roster but also himself from the rest of the run-of-the-mill Baptiste players because where he's positioning himself is not allowing him to get killed and also allowing him to overlook his whole entire team and also hit the placement of the immortality field is making sure and guaranteeing all right not just possibly no guaranteeing that his team will not die and just allowing him to build up his ultimate. That is what makes a guy like Baptiste player and that is what you're wanting to stop. And a counter that I thought that would be great to not only take care of the immortality field but Baptiste himself is going to be Soldier 76. Now Soldier would have been an alright pick before the patch because Soldier wasn't that great but after this patch he got a buff which makes him just a better pick in general but now whenever you're considering the immortality field in Baptiste's placement not only is Soldier going to be able to burn the little drone that makes the immortality field possible but wherever Baptiste is placed your hit scan assuming that you can hit your shots but your hit scan gun is going to be able to scare him off scare him away off the high ground going to make him run back to his Ryan daddy or Arissa daddy or whoever is his daddy and make sure that he is off that high ground an uncontested Baptiste that's able to focus on his teammates means that he's obviously not going to die but he's able to build his ultimate he's going to be able to focus on his team and heal them up extremely quick because he has high consistent burst heals which means that his team's not going to die which means that you're not going to be getting any kills which means that you're not going to be getting any wins because you're not able to kill the thing that's able to make sure that his team isn't dead but you as soldier if you're just even poking him that takes his attention away from his own teammates and on you or for running away depending on how good you are with your shots plus with the immortality field you can just burn that thing away with your primary form of fire and your 120 helix rocket because this thing has a lot of freaking health all right 250 hit points there aren't a lot of dps heroes that can burn that thing away as quick as you can with your helix rocket and that is what makes him a great counter pick because now you're able to take his attention away from his teammates and you're also able to destroy the thing that makes baptiste baptiste which is the immortality field plus if you get in a 1v1 situation you should be able to out heal him and out damage him if you're bouncing around running around you outrun him out heal him out damage him you just out him bruh but now for another hard counter for Baptiste that still fits that one-man army theme because a lot of these counters you're gonna see are hero picks that you can pick yourself and you don't have to rely on your teammates to help you if you pick these heroes you should be able to 1v1 the Baptiste be able to make him an effective all on your own and this next hero counter is gonna be Sombra it's a pretty obvious pick I guarantee you people watched one minute into the video and just be like oh pick Summer. <laughs> You're funny, kid. But it's honestly true. Somber is an excellent counter for Baptiste, and the obvious reason is because she's literally able to press the delete button on the immortality field. And you're gonna see me harp about the immortality field constantly throughout this video, but it's just because that is one of the best abilities in the game because it ensures that no ultimate will do da well, it will do damage, but no ultimate will
will ensure eliminations in the game. If you're able to delete that, boom, clean grabs, boom, clean tracer bombs, boom, clean everything besides maybe a reaper ult because reaper is able to destroy the immortality field. Plus, Sombra's able to flank around and get in the back line where Batiste is at and most likely hack the Batiste to not only ensure that no abilities are used, but also get in a 1v1 situation that she'll probably win because Batiste isn't the greatest at close range engagements. And another hard counter that I have that isn't as effective as say Soldier or Sombra is gonna be D.Va. But let me just paint you a quick picture. Let's say again Batiste is in the back line on defense on say Hollywood or whatnot, doing the most to not only your teammates, but also his own teammates. You as D.Va, you're gonna be able to dive the back line, assuming that you're not going in by yourself, you're going in as a team, you're gonna be able to go and contest the Batiste. Meaning that he's not gonna be effective because you're contesting him, but you're also going to be able to eat not only his three round bullets, but also his heal grenades. Meaning, once again, he's not being effective as a healer, a DPS hero, nothing. Plus, the last and final thing, we got to talk about the immortality field. You as D.Va are going to use your rockets on the immortality field and burn that thing alive. Again, this is why it's a good, not, okay, a decent hard counter compared to like Soldier of Summer because you're able to do everything that he's effective and shut it all down. Now, just be careful that the immortality field is on cooldown because if you think, oh, I'm going to get a full team wipe with my D.Va bomb, it just takes one RB or one E to make sure that no one one's gonna die because boop the immortality fields down boop the explosion goes down boop you don't get any freaking kills sorry you suck because you didn't account for the immortality field which is why we're making this video because that thing is so annoying man but now let's talk about some soft counters for batiste and if you're wondering what the difference is between a hard counter and a soft counter pretty much a hard counter is someone that can take care of batiste himself but also his abilities take care of their ultimate even though you can't necessarily take care of his ultimate because once it's down it's already down fam but a soft counter is basically someone that can either take care of himself and himself only or make sure that his abilities are ineffective make sure that his heals aren't that effective that is what i'm going for with a soft counter plus i'm just offering you a variety of heroes to play rather than just soldier sombra diva and the first soft counter that i have for batiste is going to be roadhog now even though immortality field is one of the best abilities in the game it's not a shield. It doesn't necessarily protect you from the elements around you. It just ensures that you will not die. And the great thing about Roadhog is that he can pick heroes that are out of position or that are in specific positions. And the thing about the Immortality Field is that heroes cannot leave that little circle of glory if they do not want to die. And if they're close to dying, they're going to go to that Immortality Field, which means that Roadhog is going to throw his hook like Tom Brady, get them, and pull them because it's so much easier to hit a little bit more station of a hero since they don't have that far to go. It's like a three radius circle. So if you can ensure that your hooks are somewhat decent, you're gonna be able to either pick off Batiste or pick off other heroes that are hiding in that immortality field. Again, it's not a shield. It just ensures that they will not die. You can still pull them out of there and still kill them. Now, another soft counter that I have that doesn't necessarily kill Batiste or kill anyone else else it just makes this heal ineffective is gonna be Ana anti-grenade one of the best and underrated abilities in the game ensures that Batiste is not gonna be able to spam his heals on his team but also not build his ultimate as quick as he would before if you can anti the Roadhog Reinhardt three heroes four heroes possibly five heroes possibly Batiste himself that opens the door to maybe kill Batiste, but definitely ensure that he's not going to be an effective healer and be an effective DPS down the road because he's not building his ultimate as quick as he once was if the anti-grenade wasn't on the field. And the last and final soft counter that I have for Batiste is going to be Reaper. This counter doesn't necessarily take care of Batiste and doesn't necessarily make sure that he's not an effective healer, but this takes care of the immortality field. He has the highest burst damage in the game that can instantly delete it besides somber with her hack ability but his ultimate as well can destroy it and anybody that's in that little field is gonna die because they're already low on hp expecting not to die since hey the immortality field oh my god reaper's right boom 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 
that was cringy. I am so sorry. The immortality field, in a sense, traps the enemy because they're expecting not to die, but if Reaper can sneakily flank around and ult in the middle of there, not only will the immortality field go down, but everyone else because they're expecting not to die and that is why reaper is such an excellent counter for the immortality field mainly but also for the enemy team because it gathers them all around it's a grav without needing to use a grav <laughs> and those are just a few counters for the homie Batiste. If you follow me on Twitter, you might have seen my tweet the other day saying, I don't know if Batiste is OP or if I'm just good at Batiste. And while that might seem a little bit cocky, I genuinely don't know if Batiste is going to be OP since he's only been out for a day or so. But if he is going to be OP, you're going to need some of these options because, my God, I could see him being the next broken hero on the same level of, like, Brigida or when Bastion got his buff a long time ago in like season five where you're gonna need to run a Batiste every single game since immortality feels so good and that's why I made this video early on so that in case you do run into that godlike Batiste player you have options whether you're a Roadhog main well you can benefit because you're able to hook heroes out of that immortality field soldier you're able to take care of him and the immortality field Im immortality field is just so powerful man but anyway guys that's my video let me know what you think about Batiste if he's OP or not and I'll see you guys later I love you guys thank you guys for watching more of our videos to come and bye